Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I posted a few pictures of this look on Instagram and Twitter and a bunch of you guys requested a tutorial on it so that's what I'm going to be doing today. So why don't we just go ahead and jump in. So I'm starting off this tutorial just like I always do. I'm priming my lids with my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC20. And then since it is a concealer, I'm going back over it with a face powder that's close to my skin tone so it doesn't crease. After that, I'm putting Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek into my crease as a transition color with my Sigma E40 blending brush. Then I'm going into my Flaming Love palette from Makeup Addiction Cosmetics and I'm going into this brown rusty orange color and I'm putting that on my Sigma E25 brush and I'm blending that into my crease and then once I get that blended out I'm going over it with the same Sigma E40 that I used before just to really make sure there are no harsh lines. Then I'm blending this chocolatey brown into my outer corner using a Sigma E45 small tapered blending brush. And then I'm going in and blending everything with my Sigma E25. Using that same Sigma E25 brush, I'm dipping it into this deep red color. And I'm blending that out over everything just to really bring even more warmth into the look. Then I'm going into this shimmery white color with a little hint of gold in it and I'm packing that onto my lid with my finger. I'm also using a MAC 242 to pack that same color onto my brow bone. Then I'm just going to add some thick winged liner, a coat of mascara, and my iconic lashes from House of Lashes. Then I'm just moving on to the face. I've already primed my skin with my Benefit Professional. Now I'm going in with my Too Faced Born This Way foundation in vanilla and I'm dotting that all over my face and blending it out with a damp beauty blender. Now I'm going in with my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Concealer and I'm putting that in a triangle shape underneath my eyes just to conceal and brighten. And I'm also putting this in the crevices of my nose because I tend to get red in that area. And I'm blending that out with the same damp beauty blender that I used to blend out my foundation. After I've got my concealer and my foundation blended out, I'm going in with my Urban Decay Finishing Powder and a Jumbo Powder Brush from Makeup Addiction Cosmetics to set my face. And I'm using my setting brush from Real Techniques to set underneath my eyes. Now I'm going to be finishing up the eyes. I'm going in with my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in dark brown and lining the outer half of my waterline. Then I'm going into that same chocolatey brown and smudging out that line with a smudge brush from Sigma and really blending it out with a Sigma E25. Then I'm going into that same shimmery whitish gold color and I'm popping that into my inner corners. Once I have that done, I'm just going to add some mascara to my lower lashes and that's it for the eyes. Next, I'm moving on to the cheeks. First is bronzer. I'm using my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer in light medium and I'm really carving out my cheekbones with this. Also using out my jawline and the tops of my forehead. Then I'm applying my NYX blush in terracotta with a Sigma large angled contour brush. After I've got my blush and bronzer on, I'm going in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder on a dry beauty blender and really carving out my contour. And after that, I'm applying my favorite highlighter of all time, which is So Hollywood from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm using my Precision Highlight Brush from Make Addiction Cosmetics to apply this to the high points of my cheekbones, my cupid's bow, and the bridge of my nose. Then I'm just using that same Jumbo Powder Brush from Make Addiction Cosmetics to dust that translucent powder away and to blend out my bronzer. And last but not least, I'm applying ColourPop's Ultra Matte Lip in Limbo. And that's it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot. Also, subscribe if you haven't already. Other than that, I love you guys, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.